this is a new handheld that I've ordered from AliExpress. Not going to be an unboxing video, but I just had it uh, stored in the box. And uh, we'll just take it out. And this is... Baofeng UV17 Pro. And it's slightly unusual radio compared to um, the normal Baofengs or bow things or however you want to pronounce it and daisy the dx dog there's uh, getting in on the act it's got a color screen so we'll just switch it on and actually that color screen looks um looks nice and bright doesn't it um it's got a number of memories more than the 128 um, memories that the standard uv5 has and it also has an interesting function. I'll just do a long press there. And there's the GPS screen. It has a GPS built in. Now, as far as I can see, you can't really do much with the GPS at the moment. It's not a suitable radio for APRS or anything like that. Um, maybe in the future, possibly. Um, but at the moment, I can't even find... Um, any programming software for this particular radio there is some software out there for the uv17 pro which i think is a slightly earlier model doesn't work with this one unfortunately so all the programming i've done to date has been from the front panel we'll just have a quick look at the menu system here and uh, we come out with that screen back into the normal mode if we press the menu button here we can see the various menu functions gnss is actually the um is, G is gps on the menu got facility to program channels on the keyboard radio info just gives us um firmware version wondering whether looking at that it's going to be possible possibly to upgrade firmware in the future i don't know and um, let's go back to program channel and you'll see you can enter a channel name rx frequency tx frequency the power the bandwidth wide or narrow rx ctss and DCS and, and TXC TCSS DCS also there's an encryption I don't know that's just off or on uh, signaling is not sure what that is okay and we can have the um, channel displaying either with the name the frequency or the channel number so that can all be done from the keyboard. I've done one or two memories and that seems to have worked out okay. I've put my uh, uh, local repeater here, 145.750 in for example. That works. But at the moment, due to the lack of any kind of CPS software, um, it's not possible to program using the computer. I've got what appears to be a suitable programming lead. I've tried a few, both uh, ones and the one from, I think it was the BFH6. That I reviewed earlier that fits this one you'll see on the top of this radio we've got the little um, uh, GPS symbol like most Bofengs it's got a torch this one's actually got two um, two LEDs that's quite a bright torch actually um, after dark so that's quite good it's got a function of the uh, band 2 FM radio and I think it's there you go there's the uh, there's the FM radio function. It feels quite nice and solid. This one feels quite well built. And interesting enough, it comes with a drop-in charger. Okay, but it's also got here. You'll see there's a little um, cover. And if we can just get that off, which doesn't want to come off. You see there's a little cover and underneath that we've actually got a USB-C charging port. The battery is um, also held on with a screw. And we've got the belt clip screws here and a little um, 
socket thing for um, a lanyard which is supplied with the radio as is of course the antenna the antenna sockets are male so um, you need a female antenna for this and I'll show you a clip of this outside um, it was a sunnier day here yesterday and I took the radio out and you'll see the disadvantage of this killer screen and I think this could be a game changer this is very difficult to see in sunlight it's fine in the in the room here because the light isn't bright and it looks like a nice colorful screen but outside is a different matter and it can be a bit of a struggle to see these in the sunlight so I'll show you that clip now and then we'll have a look at the um, the advertisement showing the specs for this radio we'll also run a little um, test into a dummy load and see what power is putting out it's got a claim 5 watts which sounds reasonable so that's quite good and another little interest in fact if you're into such things is this radio covers airband with AM mode on receive only of course but um, it is possible to scan the airband with this radio okay let's go over to uh, looking to see how the screen appears outside in the daylight Okay, so here's a look at the advertisement on the website where I purchased my uh, UV17 Pro. And uh, you can see how it's labeled, UV17 Pro GPS, walkie-talkie. You can see the uh, current cost of it, along with the shipping. That doesn't include VAT, so if you're in the UK, you need to add 20% to that cost. And um, here are some of the specifications. You can see the features listed here the color screen, the various frequency ranges which include uh, band 2 FM broadcast radio, air band on AM, uh, we've got a VHF receive on uh, 350 to 355, I'm not quite sure the relevance of that frequency, and you can see air band is listed there, and um, then we have three bands which uh, have transceive functions, 136 to 174, 200 to 260, and 400 to 520. 1000 memory channels, we've got the um, weather broadcast channels there, I think that's only applicable in the USA, a GPS facility, and then uh, the usual kind of stuff that you find on these um, Chinese handsets, dual watch, Fox, alarms, uh, various tones available, Roger, beeps, DTMF, and uh, the, uh, the torch. An 1800 milliamp hour rechargeable battery and as we've already seen it's got a type C uh, charging port and you can see the uh, the various views of the transceiver there it seems to be in available in at least uh, two colors we've got the um, twin LEDs for the torch the SMA connector and volume control on the top of the radio and um, again some more uh, information you can see the GPS screen here. GPS does work, although it doesn't really seem to be a way of using that information within the radio. There's no APRS or anything like that. Um, they're making quite a lot out of the uh, the bright torch on this one. And the um, battery is secured in into the radio with uh, a single screw, as you can see there. So that's, that's basically it. Um, the radio is quite robustly made it, it feels reasonable quality when you hold it um, the potential deal breaker with this one I think is possibly what they one of the things they're listing as an advantage and that's the color screen you can see here they're claiming um, I think five watts um, transmitted output RF output power so that seems quite reasonable got some um, some feedback from reviewers here as well but the the screen while it looks very nice uh, particularly if you're indoors and the uh, light isn't that bright but outdoors on a sunny day it's going to be virtually impossible to read that screen now we'll do a bit more with this radio I'm going to test the power 
and I'm hoping at some stage if I can get hold of the uh, programming software, which doesn't seem to be available at the moment, we can explore some more features of this radio. But at the moment, uh, without any programming software, uh, it's a little bit limited what we can do with it. Anyway, there it is, the uh, UV17 Pro GPS. Thank you for watching.